Not a leader, not a follower of anyone, not a leader of anyone. I am a member of an organization that dedicated itself to the area of the black procession that is so needed today. I said the black procession. I am a black man and my first allegiance is to my race. Am I not right? Yes. Chinese first allegiance is to himself and the Chinese race. The Caucasian to the Caucasian race. It's consistent. Nobody's wrong, nobody's right. We're consistent with the cosmic procession. The black man was placed in Africa. The Eskimos in Alaska. The Europeans in Europe. And we all had our duty to this planet, to the existence of this planet. But as for ourselves, I cannot talk for the Caucasian or the Chinese or the Eskimo. I could only talk about my race because that's the only thing I know. I know no other entity or race or people or philosophy. I didn't go to school because it wasn't necessary. I came from a people that didn't invent school because school was unnecessary. Today with the schools, we are sick. Yesterday without the school, we were healthy. The first part of this journey that we will take, this tedious journey, is about explaining how we cure AIDS. It's not how say we cure AIDS. Am I your brother? Yes. So if say we or the Usher Research Institute cure AIDS, who cure AIDS? The black race or say we? It is the black race. When the Chinaman does something in China, there isn't one single Chinese that is singled out to say he is the man that did it. It's the Chinese people. When the Arab does certain things, the Arabs. When the Caucasian, the Caucasian. But with me, it is say me. It divorced me from you. I ask I am a sum total of the black race. Am I not? Am I not? Yes. I am you standing here. So what is wrong? I am you. The part of you that you didn't know. Yes, you do. Know. I am not here with something that you are, are unaware of or didn't know. I am here with something that you forgot. So as a black man, we will introduce to the world a black perspective to pathology and nutrition. We have had the Ayurvedic, which is Indian. It failed. We have had the allopathic, which is European. It failed. We have the microbiotic. Well, it recommends us to eat rice. Rice is starch, isn't it? Yeah. Starch is carbonic acid. It failed. So let us now introduce one that will complement us, the black man. The position of the black man was always one of healing. When the black man was found in Africa, did he have prostitution? No. Did he have alcohol? No. Did he have religions? Yes. No, he did not. <laughs> Nature did not start with religion. Nature only creates those things that are necessary that supports life. Religion does not support life. Life supports life. Did we wear clothes? No! We didn't wear any clothes. It was a statement that we were making. But the statement was misunderstood by the foreigners. The visitors said we were naked. And we believed it. <laughs> they said we were naked. Could you imagine a man standing here without no clothes? Since creation? How old is creation, ladies and gentlemen? Nobody knows. But since creation, we lived in the forests of Africa without no clothes. And one day some strangers came and said, You are naked. <laughs> Because we, their children, have negated them and misinterpreted our parents, we become
become like embarrassed because our parents lived in Africa without no clothes. Yes, they have no clothes. See, body without no clothes receives oxygen. It keeps you calm, it keeps you healthy. With polyester, it deprives you of oxygen. Haven't you heard the policeman in Los Angeles that was jogging with the polyester and fell dead? The deprivation of oxygen. We wore no clothes. No, we didn't. But there were no prostitution. You see? And when, and when our parents ate, they ate from the tree. When they bathed their body, it was in a river without chlorine or 200 chemicals. And they were savages. No. No. A man that ate the freshest food in the world and bathed in the cleanest river was a savage. Well, let us take a journey because I am the son of the savage. I am her child. I am their child. I am my mother's son. Fortunately for me, she is, she is has been and will always be the only entity that I would ever listen to. No one else, nobody else. No philosophy or no one else, my mother. I came out of her. She deserved every credit that I would ever muster up. After all, I could never be my mother because I'm her child. So we're going to journey back and see her into our mothers now. It is said through the history of medicine that medicine began in Egypt, it sure did. Well, if medicine began in Egypt, it said that there was a need for medicine in Egypt. And if there was a need for medicine in Egypt, there was a violation. The people in the parts of Africa need no medicine. They had no doctors. Why? There was no violation. May I have your attention? May I have your attention? The only reason that we become sick Moses, contact security. Thank you. The only reason that we become sick is when there is a violation. But in the forest of Africa, you could not violate because there were no rice, there were no beans, there were no carrots, there were no hogs, there were no cows, there was no wheat in Africa. The Africa did not eat those foods because those foods that I just mentioned that are supposed to be food substances, they are laboratory products. And the black man did not add to nature or add it in any way, remove or add. So you see, what did we eat? What did the African eat in the forest of Africa that is so necessary to know today? Because our body is in need of it. We are sick. But the anthropologists that came to us, the archaeologists, the paleontologists, the historians, they didn't talk about what our parents ate. What did they talk about? I don't know. Whatever they talked about was of no consequence because now we are sicker than we ever been. But we read all those books. Well, I read no book. So we're going to journey now on a natural perspective, a natural canoe. Since medicine did not begin in the jungles of Africa and it began in Egypt, we know that there were violations. Hippocrates came years later and brought the science and established the science of medical the medical science today. Hippocrates in 365 BC. He used herbs too. The question should be asked now, why isn't the physician using herbs today if Hippocrates was the father of medicine? 